It's like a blanket. <laughs> Per montagni, per valloni, colonne vie salioni, al concetto di tromboni, di pancarte, di cannoni, che le porre tutti i tuoni, all'orecchio fan fischiar. Non più vrai, quei pennacchini, non più vrai, quel cappello, non più vrai, quella chioma, non più vrai, quell'aria brillante. Non più vrai far colonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno gelato, delle belle tremando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo d'amor. Delle belle tremando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo d'amor. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we are at Big Pie in the Sky to do the legendary carnivore challenge. Now this challenge appeared on the first season of Man vs. Food with Adam Richman and it's a big pizza. It's a massive, massive pizza just covered in all kinds of meat. That's why it's called the carnivore. We are talking every kind of sausage, ham, pepperoni, anything you can imagine. Salty, cured, beefy, meaty, goodness pizza. That's what we're getting here. So it's two people, massive pizza. Uh, you always pay for the pizza which is 50 bucks. You previously got $200 cash prize, now it's down to $100 cash prize. But nonetheless, let's go on in and have some fun. Really glad to get the legendary men versus food challenges. They're always so fun to do. And uh, yeah, let's eat some pizza, have some fun, and I'll show you around. Everyone, so here we are with the challenge. So definitely, this is a big pizza. The pie is not in the sky, it's right in front of this guy. But anyway, we have one hour. It is 11 pounds, they weighed it out, so it's totally legit. Super, super cool. So excited to always be here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. So essentially, I know there's a couple rules we gotta hear, and then we're gonna get started. Uh, wherever we are. Anyway, we'll get our jump, we'll get started here just momentarily. So y'all have one hour to complete it. Okay. Uh, everything must be gone, the, the crust included. Okay. And if you throw up, you have to clean it up. Okay, cool. Alright, so you got one hour, John, you one hour. Alright, cool. Well, let's get started here. We'll save the count of uh, maybe five, four, Three, two, one. Yeah. And connect the thing of marinara sauce here with James. Oh, Thanks so much, let's go. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. That is, that is delicious. That is juicy. <laughs> I like it. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Pie in the Sky and I'm so excited to be here guys. As you can tell, this is one of the legendary man versus food food challenges from the original series with Adam Richman, which in my opinion is by far the best and the only real man versus food. No other individual that they have set up to the task, no individual they have signed to the show has been as captivating, has been as interesting, has been as authentic as Adam has in my experience. Not to mention, Adam actually ate pretty good. Like he actually had some eating skills. So I really have to give it to him. Um, um, but at that guys, so here we are doing the massive carnivore pizza challenge. I will start by saying this was such a delicious pizza. This is a pizza that like, okay guys, I don't ever eat pizza leisurely. It's just not my favorite food. But there are a few pizzas in my life that I have had that have been so exceptional that I would go back and order them. I would go to the pizza place and order a pizza. This is one of them. This pie in the sky pizza, the carnivore, which I mean you can just buy by the slice. Um, I would 100% go back and eat a slice of pizza here, and I would recommend you as well. I really like this. So meaty, it's thin crust, it's soft, it's juicy. Oh, yes. Animals. So besides the taste and flavor, I also really like the layout of this challenge. I think it is a very reasonable challenge, guys. An hour to eat the 11 pound pizza with a cash prize. Now, yes, the cash prize used to be um, $200, but now it's down to 100. But nonetheless, I think it's very, very reasonable. And I think it's a challenge that is attainable, or at least within the grasp of many people to try. Now, to this date, there had been thousands of attempts. Yes, thousands and thousands of attempts. But again, I think it's something that is uh, like attainable. It's possible for, you know, some good eaters that are just like average, I want to say average Joes, but like good eaters. Um, the pizza 
was weighed out, which was great. I mean, like a legitimate 11 pounds, which you cannot beat that, guys. Like that is what you need to do. That's what makes a food challenge great and speaks very, very highly to the uh, pie in the sky restaurant. The staff there were also very friendly, very exceptionally um, accommodating. Um, there, you, if you do want to do the challenge, you got to call at least a day or two days in advance, um, which we did, and, and hence it all worked out. Now, technically, like if you look up the uh, reward for the pizza challenge, it is going to say $150, and it previously used to say $250, but you pay $50 for the pizza and you don't get reimbursed. So you pay for the pizza regardless, and then the net win is now $100. Again, previously the net gain was $200. I did not know if there's any records kind of going into this and definitely we weren't trying to set any kind of record we were just really going for the win um, and i like i said guys this turned into such an enjoyable challenge i can't stress enough this pizza was so good so you had the hamburger on it you had bacon you had pepperoni you had sausage um, I think it was two kinds of sausage like just everything was exceptional and you can again buy this pizza buy the slice um, just you know off the go but it's what's so cool about this place is how big the slices are like you're gonna see in a second here I mean already the slices are huge but that slice right in front of me to the right is so huge and definitely the biggest kind of I'll call them normal pizza slices I've ever seen it's so about three minutes probably like 45 seconds so in very, very delicious. I love this pizza. This is probably one of the best pizzas I've ever had in my life, actually. So we're doing well. Let's keep eating. I also give a huge shout out to everybody who came out to watch. We had definitely a nice little crowd here for this challenge. Um, we had a, like a full cheering squad, everybody from very little to some older individuals, um, which was so great, guys. I love meeting people. I love individuals coming out to our events. It's so fun. Um, you know, the show goes on with or without, but definitely if we're ever in the area, if I'm ever in your area, guys, definitely feel free to stop on by and say hello. Everyone likes burritos. <laughs> All right, look at this slice. This is the biggest one yet, but it's massive. And you can always keep track of my travels. I always post all my trips on the YouTube community tab. So um, if you are subscribed with the bell notifications and you allow all notifications, uh, you should get a notification when I post on the community tab. Um, additionally, you'll be able to see those posts appear on your home screen. So like when you open up the YouTube app or open up the YouTube page, you'll see those appear on there. Um, I also, uh, and also of course you can find it by directly going to my channel, clicking community and uh, seeing the whole tab available there. I also post my travels on my Instagram. So on my Instagram stories, you'll see lots of uh, posts about my travels. So definitely also keep that as well. Um, the YouTube community tab and the Instagram stories are definitely the ones that get updated mostly. Um, then I do post uh, some uh, travel as well on my Facebook page. So guys, definitely, um, links are right down below. Follow that Instagram, guys. Follow that Facebook page because I definitely do not want you to miss the opportunity of coming out and saying hello, um, watching me eat when I'm in your area. So definitely follow those guys and I promise you, if I'm go doing any travels, doing any challenges in a certain area, I will be posting on my YouTube community tab, on my Instagram story, and on my Facebook page. So there's three ways to follow my travels, and that way you'll be able to meet me at the challenge. You'll know I'm in your area when I'm doing the challenge, rather than only when the video is released. About six minutes in, ran us under our last slice. I just got my crush. And then we get... Well, three pieces are 100 bucks, so what's wrong with that? But that everybody that's pretty much all the info i have for you today um real quick though i'd like to hear from you let me know in the comment below i think i might be able to do this solo it was such a delicious pizza and although it is very 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 big it's something i would love to try i think i should try it so let me know down below should i try this thing solo maybe one day when i'm back in the atlanta georgia area which i will be back i'm um, not to mention there's some super cool guys super 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 cool footage at the end of this video it is going to see the world's biggest rock yes the world's biggest rock not a mountain the world's biggest rock so i'll let you get to the rest of it guys ultimately let's see what happens wish us luck we'll hope to get a win off successful completion and ultimately a free pizza and 100 dollars. so with that i'll let you get the rest of the video and ultimately let us see what happens
Jiro. So for that, we get pizza free, we get 100 bucks. Um, I think maybe there's like a wall of fame. We'll at least maybe get a picture up on the wall, but fantastic, no complaints. So that everybody, till next time, say happy all the hungry, happy eating, enjoy yourself. Definitely come check this place out if you're ever in the Atlanta area. And uh, yeah, Kennesaw, thank you so much. And I really like that pizza, so I'll be back. Record? Yeah. Oh, new record. Wow. All right, and I guess we actually also got a new record. Apparently, the old record is about 13 minutes, so we got about nine and a half, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, good job, Raina. Woo! And a huge thanks to all our friends for coming on by. Thank you, thank you. And there were some awesome people here that left. Sorry I missed you, but until next time, hopefully, we'll see you tonight. And uh, yeah, special shout out to Mr. Ben. The one legged Honda mechanic who has been well at every one of our challenges so far. So, honorable mention to you, my brother. Also, extra special thank you to the Kierns for their great, outstanding hospitality while we were in Atlanta. Hey, everyone. So, we are in. I'm gonna say Atlanta, it's, I don't know if it's technically Atlanta, but anyway, we're at like Stone Mountain, which is the biggest rock in the world apparently. And it's literally just outside, like 25 minutes outside of downtown Atlanta. So it's really, really cool. Um, we were like walking to it. It's a great big, huge rock, it really is. Right now it's just kind of trees and forest, but I wanna point something out. So not only is it absolutely exceptionally beautiful today, just look at this beautiful green, the sun is out but yet it's kind of cool because it's shaded and it's a fall. It's technically October 1st today, everybody. So happy October. Of course, you're gonna be watching this not on October 1st, but that being said, the, the leaves are still totally green here. Whereas back up in Canada, where I am from, the leaves have basically already fallen off the trees. Um, like the color change has been going on basically since like mid-September and they're pretty much gone. So, <laughs> It's crazy to be, oh look, this one tree has a few colored leaves. But besides that one tree, everything's been green. Like, it's actually pretty crazy. So October 1st, Georgia, Atlanta area is still very, very green. There's a chipmunk. Good stuff, y'all. Anyway, let's go see this big rock. And here we're at the entrance of the walk up trail at Stone Mountain. So I don't know if we're gonna get all the way up it. I hope we have time, we're running really short, but uh, yeah, it's literally on sheetrock. So let's go see how far we can get up. So here we are going up the path. It's really cool is you actually walk on the rock itself, the sheetrock. It's not an artificially made path. Of course they do have it 
uh, marked with markers, but it's pretty cool. It's a little rough, but uh, we're making it all, we're making up the hill, a little bit of incline, but yeah, this is a little different than I expected and actually a lot cooler. And we are getting up the mountain, definitely trying to hustle it and bustle it, running up here so we have enough time, but they have a place with uh, a stair, a stair, whatever you call it, railing, because this gets pretty steep. And this is how far up we are. We are very, 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 very high up. Straight over there, way over there, those buildings. That is downtown Atlanta. So just to give you perspective, and about, I don't know, 25, 30 miles away. So now way up top, pretty cool. And we're getting up to the top, even higher up. Woo, and Atlanta way over there. Crazy beautiful view, guys. Hope you guys can see and conceptualize this. Woo. I tell you what, this is not a path to try to do in like 15, 20 minutes. <sighs> it's hard to run uphill, but we're almost there. That's the top. So we're gonna get it real quick. Then we gotta run down. All right, everyone. And we made it to the top. Officially made it to the top of Stone Mountain. Woo! In like 15, 20 minutes. I basically had to run up half of it. Oh, would not recommend. Now I gotta run down. We're uh, short on time. We have an event tonight. So, but yeah, super, super, super beautiful. Definitely, if you're gonna come here, you need like, at least a good hour, two hours. I'd say an hour and a half, two hours to hike it. Enjoy the view. Pretty cool though. Absolutely amazing scenery. I'll uh, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Again, Georgia, way off in the distance. Or Atlanta, I mean Atlanta. But uh, yeah, Stone Mountain. Very, very pretty up here. We got some birds flying. They're not that far away because we're so high up. And uh, yeah, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous view. Now I gotta enjoy it for a second, head back down. And I think going down is actually more dangerous than going up. It's very, very steep. We're about, I don't know, a third of the way down. Gotta uh, kick it into gear to make sure we get to our challenge on time. But yeah, so Stone Mountain. That was really cool, really liked it. I gotta run down the mountain, so this will be my last little clip. But uh, be safe everybody, and let have a lovely day. Whew, all right, made it down. Uh, about 33 or 34 minutes uh, up and down. Uh, definitely a lot easier on the way down because it's not an incline. Well, I mean like you have the gravity helping you out um, But it's a lot more dangerous because you're like running down a hill. But anyway, yeah, so super cool would recommend I will be back I'm gonna come back next time I'm in Georgia. I'm gonna hike this thing a little bit more leisurely Yeah, it was fun to run up and down it, but I'd like to enjoy it a little bit more um, And it's really really cool. So yeah, everybody gotta go to the car like I said gotta get to that event, but it's cool would recommend so definitely must do, went in Atlanta area, Georgia. Check out Stone Mountain. Till next time, everybody. Hi right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, helps you out, then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes, that's right. Two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.